everyone. Um, I have to apologize because I was totally disconnected with YouTube channel um, because of the COVID-19. Uh, that really turned me down. I was like a lost in the middle of the mess uh, until I realized that I had to pull together and keep going. So beside that, there was Mother's Day and I was really busy. Um, but uh, well, now um, I have to uh, get back to the last video that I made where I was uh, sharing with you a few ideas about how to work without Oasis. Well, I brought three ideas more that maybe uh, can help you to build a, a floral arrangement like a green way because there are some people that they don't like to use Oasis. So that is gonna bring you a little bit more of problem for you, but a more problem means more, more times and that means you have to make, uh, uh, you have to invest more in, in investigating or researching some uh, new um, resources. So today I'm gonna use a few bases I brought here. This gold, mercury gold base, this is crystal. The last time, if you remember, I used it urn the, with this size, but it was clear. Now, this is not clear. It has the color, but even though if you wish to use a oasis, it's gonna be really, really heavy to move around. So we are gonna we'll be working with this a base. Also, I will use in this square base, six by six by six. Then I brought this four by four. And I brought this uh, fishbowl base that for me is a really complicated base to be working with. So I catch a few ideas that maybe I, I can share with you and help, uh, help you with that in case that you have the same problem that I had. Okay, I'm gonna start with the tall base. The, the idea that I gave you before is make a net with the leaf so that you're gonna start building among the leaf the flowers. You're gonna start building your design, putting the flowers on. If I do not have oasis and I do not have um, a leaf, because I try to, th to think a different way, we, I have two ideas more. We can use a frog. This is a really uh, big frog. Um, I have this one as well. This is a smaller, I don't know if you can see it. It's a small, maybe it's an inch, and I guess this is like uh, two inches. Okay, this is heavy, but even though what I do is using a double face tape, I'm gonna cut a little bit. I put in the, in the frog, I peel off this part, and I put inside. If you don't do that, you take the risk that the um, frog is gonna start moving around. Oh, she doesn't want to stay here. If the frog move around, the flower is gonna start moving as well. Okay, it needs more. Because of the bottom is not even, I have to add more um, double, fla uh, double face tape in order to keep the frog in the bottom and help me to be working with. So can you see in the bottom? Well, it's not gonna fall. That means that it's not gonna be moving every time that I have to put in a stamp on it. And after that, you are gonna start working with. If I don't have the, the, I'm gonna cut a little bit. This is a really, really long stamp. I took the longest that I have, so you can see how this is gonna be working with the frog, but uh, it doesn't fit in the, in the um, camera. So I'm gonna cut a little bit, and yes, you're gonna have it. If I don't have the, the frog in the, in the, uh, inside of the base, I, I um, without the, the leaves, sorry, I have the chance to put only in this way the, the flower. So with the frog, I can play a little bit more, so it's gonna help me to hold the flowers in the way that I want. I have that, and then I have a leaf, uh, another leaf, taller, and you're gonna uh, be working and put them uh, as much as you want, uh, flowers um, and leaf. 
oh this is really heavy oh, this is rough okay uh obviously the most flowers that you put is, is gonna help you to hold uh the other flowers in the position that you want okay okay this is it okay i'm not gonna finish the design because that's no idea that i want to share with you i just want you see some technique and resources that is, um, will help you with this by using the same base i have another tool that is gonna help you to do exactly the same let me see if i can remove this okay mm -hmm. okay it's hard but that is a good sign up because that means that it's not gonna be moving around inside the base while you have to do the delivery I always think on the delivery when I'm working on my designs because the delivery is part of the, your work. So why I'm gonna uh, leave that point out of sight when later I'm gonna have to deal with that. So the other idea that I have, the other resources using this green chicken wire. The only thing that you have to do is put it inside of the base without scratching the base. If you scratch the base, well, it's okay. No, nobody's gonna say anything. Okay, I'm putting down, pressing down, sorry. You don't see it? Okay. Then I'm, you're gonna add the water. Uh, you will start working in the way that you want. This is, this is an awesome way. They're gonna be moving a little bit until you put all the flowers and leaves and everything that you want to put. For sure, you're gonna have to cover a little bit on the border in case that the uh, chicken wire is, be, is showing you up. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the side and I will start working with the square base. Okay, this square base is, as I told you before, six by six by six um every time that i have to do a lower design and a clear base uh sorry that I, i'm passing in front of the camera um i have this problem the only way that i can put is you let the hydrangea touching the edge so there is no too much magic at least that's my problem I uh, try to play with the, with the flowers and I can uh, do in case that I want to put in this way or uh, then I have to put this in the middle and it's gonna be always falling and falling and falling. And for the delivery, it's gonna be a problem. So what you have to do, you have to use the clear tape. With the clear tape, you're gonna make a net. This on the side, just crossing one another. Every every single time that you're gonna put a, a piece of um, clear tape, you're gonna I guess it's a overlap or put in the top of the other one because it's not just two in this way and two in that way. It's one at a time, so you're gonna get this kind of trilash. This tape, this tape is gonna help for this one don't, don't, don't go up and don't uh, be removed because the flower is gonna be, you know, in some way pulling up the, the tape. After you make that, this is a half inch uh, tape. You have to take all the end of the tape um, put it all around with the same tape. This can be here for months. After you did the, the wedding or the event or whatever you use this base for, you can take it back, we, you can wash, and this is not gonna be removed at all. So it's so heavy that you can, you can hold the base from here. Okay, then you're gonna add the water and then you can start working with that. Um, 
and the way that you want. Obviously, the most flowers that you put, the better for you to keep the flowers in the, in the positions that you want. You see? Well, as I told you before, I'm not gonna finish this because that's not my goal. You can put it, I put all the flowers in the same center of the base. Can you see the, there's still space? I have one, two, three more square and they are not uh, falling, they are not moving. And they're moving a little bit, but not like it's gonna be crazy. If you don't have that uh, clear net, net it's, gonna be, uh, it's gonna be complicated. And sometimes I use uh, a lot of leaf, um, a sort of leaf to do the net without the clear tape. But for me, this is way better, more result because it helped me to save a lot of time. Now, what's happened when you have in a small square base, you cannot use so much tape, but you can use less um, um, a slim, uh, how do you say, uh, a skinner tape. I do not have here. Uh, the skinner tape is a quarter inch, but uh, what I do is just, I do not put in the center in the same center. I put this and then I put here I will show you I will show you right now give me one second and then I put the tape all around so let me show you I don't know if you can see the this is the it's not in the center because I think it's gonna look too symmetrical it's right here a little bit to the bottom um the right side of the um the base so I'm gonna work with the same flowers that was showing you, that I showed you before. So this is too long. You're gonna put here, but even, even that you have the, the net, it's gonna be a problem. So what I do is using the hydrangea as a net and I start building the design in that way. So the same hydrangea is gonna help me with the other flowers and the other flowers gonna help me with the hydrangea do not be moving around. And then you're gonna put another flower here. You can put this big flower, this uh, football moon here. So it's gonna be easy. That's the, that was a challenge for a long, long time for me because I didn't know how to use big flowers and small containers. If I don't do this, the only chance that I have is using just one flower and one position. So like, okay, it's gonna be always like that and that's it. And sometimes I don't want to do that. I want to use more flowers. Now um, I have this base. This is for me like da 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 da. I don't like. I don't know how to work with this base. Uh, it's always the flowers are falling down, falling off of the base. You cannot make the net with a clear base. There is no way. But you can use this as I showed you before. And then you can hide this with the stones. Um, you can use this one or bigger, bigger one, it doesn't matter. Um, you can cover this with a stone and start building the floral arrangement from that point. Let me see. So remember that you have to cover first and that is gonna be way easier for you. Well, these are the ideas that I have. I hope you can use some of them or at least this can uh, open the door for you. And from this, you can start to make your own investigation and see what you can do without using uh, Oasis. Um, okay, I'm gonna post a few pictures at the end of the work that I did before with this technique. Uh, I will be more than happy in answer you all the questions that you have for me. And you can call me at any time. Uh, give me, uh, you, can, you can write a review or comment or whatever you want. Thank you so much and I'll be here soon. I hope if there is a, no, 
another pandemic in the meantime. Okay, thank you. Be safe, be at home, take care of you and your loved one. Thank you. Bye-bye.